Hello and welcome to the Tea on Sustainable Living podcast, where your hosts, Hannah and Brandy, try and help each other navigate the big, messy, gray area of giving a shit about the planet, and hopefully helping you along the way. Each episode, we have honest chats about our sustainability fails, sometimes amongst ourselves and sometimes with guests, while also leaving you with a little sprinkle of hope and inspiration to keep on giving a shit. So, go make yourself a cup of tea, get comfy, and let's dive into the episode. Hello, give a shitters. This is Hannah. And this is Brandy. And you are listening to episode number 14 of the Tea on Sustainable Living podcast. Yes, episode 14 and what else is it? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's the end of season one. Woo! I'd get up and sell, do a little dance, but I don't dance and my headphones are attached. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you would be right in inferring that saying that we're having a season one means that we will be back with a season two. Yes, we will be back for season two. <laughs> um, we've been renewed by our oh, what I that, that I just I was like, wait, what do they what is it called? Those like platforms that you know. Um, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I, I was thinking like, like like a network television show has been yeah exactly. By the I was like, that's what, exactly what I wanted to say. I just like completely flopped that joke. I was like, we've been renewed by our network, which but we us. don't have a network joke. We are our own network. <laughs> yeah, and that bit of quality content is exactly why. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, we'll, season two. Um, what did we decide? Like like mid late September, ish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, probably when we get around to. Yeah, when we get around to After the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I reckon end of September. I think we'll when be it becomes comfortable to record again without a fan on. Yeah. Because it's starting to get, I ha- I've just turned mine off to record. Ooh, I haven't put a fan on yet because I was just like, if I put the fan on now, that's it. You yeah. Know? That's how I am with um, <laughs> my air conditioner, which yes, I, I caved about right. two summers ago. I made it till halfway through July in Madrid um before I was like I I just I can't sleep so I'll blast it like mm-hmm. before I go to bed and then turn it off and then like only yeah. a small like handful of number of nights will I yeah have it on until I wake up in the night and turn it off I'm quite excited this year this summer I'm gonna be away for mm-hmm. basically from mid-July to end of August and that pause was I was like I feel like this is the first summer in like probably a good three years when I'm like properly leaving Madrid Mm. for most of the summer. Okay. Um, And I will see you. So I'm like, yeah. Halfway through that. Yeah. And much cooler location. Yeah. And I'll Um, be doing a little, little holiday in, in England and yeah, looking forward to it. We should finish planning that at some point. Yes, we should. (laughs) Anyways. um, So yes, this episode, the idea was that we would, yeah, just kind of reflect a bit celebrate a bit talk about kind of yeah what we think about season one and what we might maybe want to do for season two Mm -hmm. um I guess kind of like a a producer meeting that we're just turning into a podcast episode (laughs) yeah how about progress yeah progress process process it's definitely a Friday (laughs) it is Friday happy Friday before we get into all that though I did organize like a tea and a project I know I noticed I was like oh it was definitely my turn but (laughs) that's okay you can do the next two the first two of season two um I think I was I did it when I did the outline for the last one so I was just on a roll and just kept going anyways I realized that we hadn't talked about ginger tea which I know it's not I don't know technically a tea you can make tea out of ginger um so herbal infusion yeah herbal tea or infusion whatever but for the sake of this episode it's a tea and i made iced tea (laughs) oh that's nice iced ginger tea yeah with delicious with agave and lemon oh it's very nice i recommend it. it's like a ginger ale without the pound of sugar and the bubbles okay i like it yeah so i got myself some iced ginger tea and the origin of making tea out of mm-hmm. ginger um which out of convenience sake i like to buy a root of ginger and then freeze it i'll slice it up and then freeze the slices so it's super easy to just grab a few and make some tea okay. little tip there um yeah. so the origin or one of the origins i don't remember i think wikipedia led me to southeast asia um mm-hmm. and 
there are some really cool things happening in the Philippines. So I want to talk about one of their projects, one of the mm-hmm. projects there called Save Philippine Seas, um, okay. SPS for short. They aim to narrow the gap between scientists and the general public, the old, young, passionate, and indifferent by mobilizing citizen, like citizen, but S-E-A, citizen. I also like them because they're punny too. Uh, citizen-led initiatives that are empowering Filipinos towards collective action and behavior change. So, okay, yeah, they just seem like a really cool organization. There were lots of cool things happening in the Philippines, but um, maybe the puns grabbed me for this one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll link it in the show notes, but savephilippinesseas.org. Um, That's cool. Yeah. yeah, they were pretty cool. Um, you'll find some more puns on their website. And yeah, I was reading, they apparently started as a, supposed to be like a, um, here it is, meant to be a short-lived social media campaign when mm-hmm. there was um, some like big, big illegal wildlife um, case back in 2011. So it was meant to be a short-lived social media campaign and then it grew and grew. And then they became, officially became a Oh, officially like fish F I S H. I missed that one before that one snuck by. It became a nonprofit, um, in 2013. So yeah, check them oh. out. Save Philippines Um, all right. Well, while you sip on some ginger tea, ice store hop, whatever you want. All right. I will check them out. Mm-hmm. Sound very cool. All right. So Hannah. Brandy. Season one. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling? Good. I'm surprised we, well, I am, I'm kind of surprised we made it this far, but also not because I'm working with Brandy. If it was just me, this would never have happened because Brandy is the, the organizer and the, mm, carries a lot of the, of the podcast. And I can't remember which one of us suggested the idea. I kind of think I was like, oh, we should do a podcast. But I can't, and you, you happen to be, you were already moving into podcasting like professionally. Mm-hmm. But if it had just been me, I would, it would just have stayed there. I'd have been like, oh, this is a cool idea. Um, I don't remember if it was me or you or someone in between, but um, so I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of work that goes into a podcast, even, mm-hmm. even one that's, you know, just for fun and you kind of do things how you want. That was one of the things I was thinking about. Like overall, yeah, I'm like really happy that we stuck with it and that we actually did it. Yeah. Went from like idea to like trailer pretty quickly. Um but yeah. trailer. Yeah, I like that it's been, yeah, it's been like a fun creative outlet. Um mm-hmm. that yeah. I think the accountability for I think the accountability piece is something to maybe work on a bit more because like the production kind of takes yeah. over. What do you mean? By account, like uh, for like making changes or advocating oh, right. or whatever, yeah. like our episode topic is, and here's some ideas. No, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do more of this. No, you're going to do more of that. I feel like, like on my end, yeah, um, because they haven't actually done really any updates, and I think that's more, right. really more the accountability. How how we're going to update? Like I made like a graphic. I think I updated maybe the pre mark um, episode. I did send an email, got a response. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cookie cutter response and I didn't like it. I sent another response to clarify because she didn't answer a lot of the questions because mm-hmm. I think it was copy and paste. Um, but I yeah. never got a response back from that. Yeah. And then, cause it doesn't really work timing wise to like talk about the updates and then like later episodes. Cause then that's confusing. Right. But was- a lot of the time we plan pretty quick before we do the mm-hmm. episode. No, but I mean, even in like to then future episodes, like two or three later. Okay. So here's an action update from uh-huh. the episode a few back because then that's hard to like find. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's what I mean. If we wanted to include it on the episode itself. Oh yeah. The one itself is an actionable item. And then this is how we have put it into action in the past. Um, that would be the cleanest way to do it. Or probably for it the, would for but- the listener, but the planning and timing of that. Yeah, it would be like the hardest way for us, but the easiest for the listener. Or we did talk about doing like a mid-season recap, like Mm -hmm. episode, looking at actions we mentioned. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I agree. I was thinking Instagram would probably be a better place for that Mm -hmm. because apparently the one of the, um, I don't know how to word it, not rule of thumb, but I guess rule of thumb. Um, (laughs) 
I guess that's what it's called um, for like social media and podcasting is to have your social media be like separate from the podcast Mm -hmm. instead of just here's the new episode, which is definitely what I did in the beginning because social media is is also a lot of work. Um, Yeah. But maybe treating that more as like a, because some of the, a lot of these changes are like, they take time and they're ongoing things and there's ups and downs Mm -hmm. and it's not like a one and done. Right. So that might be a better way to do ongoing updates or like bonus episodes when we feel like we have enough updates to like talk about. I don't know. In a podcast form. Yeah. I mean, I think as well, like it's hard because either some, you know, some episodes are quite specific. So it's not always like transferable to every situation. Mm -hmm. Or I feel like a lot of the time we talk about things we already do or have done in the past. Yeah. And could, but then, you know, you can always, like, re- yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. You can always do better. Mm-hmm. I actually just saw um, something on Instagram that I, I didn't want to bring up in this episode from the Instagram account Future Earth. Um, mm-hmm. Go follow them and then follow us. Um, <laughs> they posted a graphic um, quoting someone named Julia Marsh. Um, we exist in an ecosystem of imperfect solutions with imperfect humans, all progressing towards the imperfect, but better future we deserve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think we ever reach perfect. It's just <laughs> less imperfect no. than the day before or week before or whatever, you know, and also like so much of this, you know, this is where I always get concerned a little bit with our podcast. Cause sometimes I think it can get like a bit or just environmental stuff in general, but like it can get a bit wishy washy. You know, like it's all about, as in, okay, so as in, I'm going to explain this well, but as in, like, it can be sort of like, well, you know, we could do this or this, but like, it depends, you know, or like everything else you've got going on in your life. And like, how do you find the balance? And like, I mean, that kind of is the point of our podcast. Mm-hmm. And we've had this conversation before. I'm like, but is that enough? And, you know, you're always like, well, it's that's a personal thing like you know mm-hmm. you can see where it's enough is enough and where was I going with this point da, da, da. oh I was gonna say like yeah that a lot of the changes can be quite like or commitments can often be quite like cyclical it doesn't necessarily mean for life mm-hmm. it's like in your situation your circumstance right now mm-hmm. like what is the best thing that you can be doing Mm-hmm. and then and then that was when I started to doubt myself and was like is that just a really wishy-washy response I mean <laughs> it's m- more realistic because you can't just go tell everyone to stop eating meat stop flying stop doing all of these things or start mm-hmm. I don't know donating all of your money to this charity and go go protest every weekend like you can't just do blanket statements for everyone because it doesn't apply to everyone no, though it's definitely easier to just say. But where where do you where do you let yourself off the hook? I mean, I mean, you can't say that to other people, yeah, but you can say that to yourself. Mm-hmm. You get burnt out pretty quick, mm-hmm. but <laughs> you I mean, get... certain things like stop eating meat that was an easy thing for me. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, it's not like I want to stop eating meat. Um, but then I feel guilty and beat myself up mm. because I want it once or, once or twice a week. I've gotten to a point where I just, it's just not an option uh-huh. food wise. Like I don't see it as food. I think we've talked about that in our food episode. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was a fun one. Anytime we talk about food. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. so yeah, I mean, that's the reality of it is individual and I don't. So the, the quote I just read was from. It was like a carousel post. So that was mm-hmm. picture two of two of that Instagram post. The first one was, it's easy to stay motivated knowing our success means a better, cleaner, more equitable future for people and the planet, mm-hmm. which for me, it's not always easy to stay motivated because it does, if you do get bogged down and, you know, mm-hmm. start gray spiraling and yeah, not always easy, but so I think, I don't know, maybe it's instead of coming up with rules and things to do more or less of, it's trying to know come up with ways to mm-hmm. focus more on like the big picture the why yeah which is yeah. you know this post better cleaner more equitable future for people on the planet like yeah that's great i want that so okay how can i contribute to that how can i work towards that today yeah and maybe it looks different than yesterday tomorrow yeah 
I'm just like listening. Uh, there's a part of me outside of this conversation kind of listening to us. And I feel like, you know, that's kind of what we wanted to get to at the point when we made this podcast, mm. because this conversation that you're hearing is, and all the conversations you've heard are conversations that we would just mm-hmm. have anyway. Yeah. You know, and um, I was wanted to ask, do you feel like, is there anything about the conversations that we've had on the podcast or like putting it into that format that has like shifted a perspective for you Mm. or made anything clearer or do you feel, well, I don't know. Do you like, Mm. do you, I don't know. (laughs) That's a good question. Um, I feel like maybe I need a bit more time away from it to like get that perspective Mm -hmm. from like reflection I often need like to step away from something um I think I did jot something down in the notes um what did I say oh about what one of the things that we've learned uh, just below guests are hard when you're trying to coordinate three people's schedules so oh yeah that's why the one guest we had it was just it was just me yeah we'll we'll think of something but yeah what did I write oh it's too easy to feel overwhelmed when it comes to wanting to live more sustainably the importance I also have learned the importance of taking a step back and doing your best, focusing on what you can do, recognizing you won't ever be able to do all the things, but you Mm -hmm. can still do lots of things. Yeah. It's, I think it all comes down to perspective and focus, and then that will apply to everything instead of getting too bogged down in the details and the small things, actions you should or shouldn't be doing. Yeah. So yeah, I think, um, you ask me again for episode one of season two. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's do it. What about you? Yeah, great question. <laughs> it is. I don't know. Has it helped? Um, I like, uh, I mean, I know it's kind of like, a, I mean, well, it's not forced, but like having the element at the beginning where we always try and like talk about a project that's going on. I find like researching those and also like hearing about different ones. I find that quite cool. And I think that's why we wanted an element like that in the podcast, because at the end of the day, so many people are already taking actions. Mm. You know, there's so many people all over the world being part of various movements about various issues that are having an impact in their communities and in the the world in general. And I think, you know, <laughs> like we were just talking about those like every small actions, those contributions like add up to a big picture. And I don't, I don't know, but, you know, just through this, this season, we've just, we've talked about 14 different projects mm-hmm. that, I mean, are impacting, you know, a much wider range of people. And, you know, we just like give a very, it's not like we know a lot, often we don't know a lot about these projects, but, you know, just even like having that surface view. And then when you're researching just to find one, you know, often there are lots of different things you can choose from. So I think that's cool, like having that note of positivity. Yeah, that has been a fun part. It's like our own little something hopeful before we right as we start off the episode. Shout out to Jenny from Digital Nomad Girls. That was her idea when I was yeah the idea of the podcast. Um, she said, "Yeah, you should like have a tea and then feature like a local yeah cool thing going on from wherever that tea is from." Mm-hmm. I think in and the I beginning. Mean... Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. I was say I think in the beginning I tried I like the idea of trying to find a project that was related to the topic but that right. got too complicated so yeah just, here's something cool happening in this part of the world go look yeah. it up support it if you want yeah I know I was gonna say I know um even though the format wasn't decided I know we definitely when we talked you know initial conversations we really wanted to include an element that was hopeful mm-hmm. because of a lot of these conversations can get pretty bogged down or in the <laughs> quagmire of doomy in the in the quagmire of doom and I think that's what we felt a bit sometimes when we were having these conversations before having the podcast but you know hope is such an essential part of making a change you know mm-hmm. and and not not just like hope with action you know yeah that's what I was gonna say that like there's two elements tied in with the small action things that you mm-hmm. that listeners can do yeah because if we don't, I mean, we're only do. I mean, if we had no hope, then what? I mean, we wouldn't be doing this. And- we wouldn't be doing this, you know. I mean, if you've got no hope and you think everything's gonna, there's no way around. I mean, well, let's all just like fuck off and use up all the fossil fuels we can, having a good time. Yeah, what's the world burn? I mean, 
you know and I mean sometimes I get to that place but most of the time most of the time or something yeah I'm hopeful (laughs) or I still have some hope um anyway Mm. so yeah I'm glad we did that yeah Um, yeah me too for sure I think yeah moving forward we'll definitely keep that um Mm -hmm. keep that element I think I'd like to keep the teas probably I mean we'll end up cycling through them but there's so many projects to talk about so maybe it'll just be I'm having a tea. What tea are you having? Yeah. You don't often drink tea. So maybe we'll have to get a bit better of getting you to like (laughs) actually have the tea. Just have tea time while we just talk about a project. We could like, you know, make it like a British tea time, which can include, you know, which could be a dinner or a lunch. Yeah. Depending on food related. So much. (laughs) (laughs) Do you have breakfast, lunch, and tea? Breakfast, dinner, tea? Breakfast, tea, dinner? meal times in the uk depending on where you are in the country what yeah. do you call them very odd yeah i think one thing you do it which we would like to do more which you just touched on super briefly is we really wanted to include more conversations with other people yeah in the podcast and that's just yeah quite difficult to coordinate you know between us we all we know a couple of other people just friends that we'd like to get on and who are interested in coming on and talking about something but just scheduling Mm. I had an idea for that just before we started and I don't I haven't thought it through of like whether it makes would make sense or workshop it yeah um of you know like if it's someone that you know you have a conversation Mm -hmm. record it and then I can do listen to it and then do like a voice over of like my thoughts on it and then put that in the episode so it's not the three of us together in the episode like having the same conversation but I'm listening into your conversation and then I can talk to one of my friends uh, or whoever. I had the idea of like bringing in people also that like once we cycle through our environmentally conscious friends of like seeking out like people yeah. we don't know as guests. Um, no, I so agree. That would be cool to have the cool. other person not in the conversation to like kind of record a five or 10 minute like mm-hmm. this is what I thought and like, oh, I really liked when they said this or yeah, maybe another, you know, a way you can take it a step further, maybe mm-hmm. do this, et cetera. I don't know. You know what would be really cool and is definitely not log- logistically possible? What? But if we made it like a section, you could have like a five minute conversations with friends. So not even having like a whole episode around it, but like as a part of the podcast, have like a, I don't know, do conversation mean? with friends, like by a bit, you know, at the end or like in the middle or just like a oh. little. Like extra subsection, definitely mm. not logistically possible, mm. or without a lot of planning, that it would probably wouldn't be worth it. But can, like a little soundbite, okay. and now we go to well, that's kind of why conversations, tea time with friends. Well, that's kind of my idea of like the voice notes, which I haven't done a great job of right. promoting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know we need to get send us your voice notes, people. Yeah, the tea on sustainable living dot com slash contact, I believe. So you can send a voice note and then you can scroll down and just send like an email mm-hmm. if you don't want to send your voice. Um, because we can talk about it in the episode. And then if you leave a voice, send a voice message, we can put that clip in the episode. That would be cool. But yeah. Send us your voice notes and yeah. sign up for our email newsletter. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Yeah. Please do that. If you're listening, let us know. So yeah, maybe Are we yeah, just think- talking into the void? Uh, we have some listeners. I think, oh, what are our latest stats? I thought that would be a fun thing to do <laughs> in this episode, share yeah. our stats. Considering we haven't done a great job of promoting it, I think it's pretty cool to see these numbers. All right. I wonder how many of them are me, like, testing that things have worked. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. So let me pull up Libsyn now. That's where we're hosted. I think we're almost at, like, a, I mean, not, like, a milestone maybe by other people's standards, but I was pretty excited about it. Of course, since we're on Zoom, my computer's being super slow. So okay. I'm going to say something else while I log in and pull this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it? I guess that's an interesting thing in general, though, about like listening, like, or listen, like who, I think we've kind of purposely not thought about it that much. I mean, we've kept track of statistics, but we haven't been like, who's listening? You know, I mean, we know a from people like you know friends who've told us like oh you know listen to Mm -hmm. this episode and you know some listen every week and some you know like dip in and out 
as they have time um, because, you know, it is a lot of work. And, again, especially from Brandy, um, who does most of the heavy lifting. So, you know, it's that thing, does it matter? Does it matter if people are listening? I mean, obviously we're hopefully not producing this just to speak to ourselves, but also with the very realistic thing that if we, you know, there are a lot of things that people can spend their time doing and it's Mm -hmm. a lot of work to even get that a product in front of people's eyes who aren't your, you know, personal contacts. Mm -hmm. So is is it something you care about, Brandley? Like, how do you feel about it? I haven't really up to this point. I think I like the idea of, I think I want to care a bit more in the future, but not with like Mm -hmm. any goal to like, I don't know, become like a luminary exclusive or, you know, (laughs) be at the level of um, how to save a, how to, what is it? How to save a planet. I think it's Spotify exclusive now. Um, Yeah. But I like the idea of growing it a bit. Like I think uh-huh. um, as far as like downloads, which are all-time downloads, we are at 834 all-time downloads. So that's pretty cool. I think maybe we should do a bonus episode where whenever we hit um, 1,000. Oh, we have our 10-minute warning. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 834 all-time downloads. The right. I should have been more prepared. Most, what is, I wonder, our most popular episode to date I think let's see total downloads the the fair trade one has been pretty popular. Okay, um, all right. And I think our pre mark one as well. I think that's one that other people have found by searching. Um, okay. Oh yeah, our first. Oh yeah, this is quite common. Like your first like few episodes to be the most popular because it's like when you launch and it's all exciting and oh our friends have a podcast let me check it out but you know like yeah. gets in the way. So yeah, how we yeah, started getting guess, a shit is our most popular one, episode number one, which is quite common. Right. And then I guess if people like find it through a different episode and then like that might mm. go back to a first episode just yeah. to like listen. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, true. Um, interesting. The so yeah, I think one and the fair trade. I feel like both of those, well, especially the fair trade one, I don't know if I felt very, like I didn't feel very knowledgeable about fair trade stuff. Well, that was like a learn a, with us because we, I think, yeah. we searched a lot of things. Um, in an <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think I would like to, I think there's a benchmark that like for average, your average number of downloads after was it 30 or 90 days is 150 per episode. Then you're, that's like um, average or better than, I forget like what the, like just the average stats or better than 50% of other podcasts. I forget okay. what it is, but that's like a general kind of benchmark. Uh, I think we're like a third of the way there, if that. Um, okay. So, so like maybe that's you can get caught more. up in the numbers and it's just yeah. you know, our. I think that's been nice that we haven't been concentrating on that much. I mean, like you say, maybe mm-hmm. that's something, you know, as we've kind of got to grips with the format and what what it feels like, you know, and just even being like comfortable recording. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, we had to Absolutely. record our first episode twice because we were just like, meh. <laughs> you know what's happening (laughs) oh and talking of which you know what I would like to re-record is you know the like opening intro that we have before episodes yeah because I hear that now and I'm like wow I just I think both of us but yeah we just sound so like stilted and like well that was when we were using the mic I've that you're not using you because we were like having to like (laughs) kind of push the other out of the way to get in front of the mic (laughs) I think we'll yeah we'll definitely re-record that for season two intro the outro um, right now we're a bit more comfortable with like yeah, yeah what it we'll feels with, like with the mic that I'm using because we can do it like sit across from the table um yeah and be a bit more natural and <laughs> and I lost the original working file where the audio file is on one um like one row and then blow it as the music I only have the combined one so I can't go back yeah. and like tweak just the audio only so yeah I'd like to re-record those for season two and maybe um not like ads but like cut in like with both of us saying like oh whatever we want the call to action for that episode like oh don't forget to check out show notes or yeah. instagram or this um and we okay. talk about it at the end but but yeah lots of things to um kind of reflect on over the summer is yeah, yeah the format see. the i think i like our want to keep our music but yeah the intro outro yeah the music's good and then yeah how we want to go about guests i definitely want to have more conversations with more people in season two yeah so whether uh, the I thing think... i suggested works or we come up with another way we come up with another yeah. way um i think that would be really cool and then we can even get people on 
we might have to like increase our numbers a bit. This is where numbers do matter a bit, getting um, guests on who are like doing something really cool. Like maybe they've started their own kind of organization or they're doing something in mm-hmm. the environment. Like we, these people or these projects that we talk about, it'd be cool to talk about someone who's involved yeah. in some sort of project, whether right. it's related to that episode or not just to, um, yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. All right. So yeah. And if you listener have any thoughts of what you want to hear more of from our podcast or whether it's topics, format, any, any feedback, any insights, we'll take it. Go to the T on sustainable living.com slash contact. Yeah. 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 We'd love to hear what you have to say. Yeah. And if you want to be a guest. On... Yeah. Please, please come on and talk to us. So, yeah. I think while once that promoting this episode is done on, on Instagram, I yeah, I want to focus more on both mm-hmm. of us just like sharing kind of our day to day, maybe in stories. Like, yeah. Look, I made ginger tea with ginger root and I'm using a metal straw. I don't know. Yeah. Small things like that, but mixed in with. Can we make reels? I never made one, but no, we could try. Make, I don't. Can we? Can I'm we not do doing any. Tri- I'm not dancing. No, I'm not dancing. Okay, I'll dance. I'll dance. That's okay. Fine. You dance and do, I'll. Yeah. I'll do ones that don't have my face in it at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give us shitters. Thank you so much. Should have started the episode with this. Thank you so much. Um, if you've whether it's your first episode or you've listened to every single episode and I've been been along with us for every episode we appreciate you yes thank you very much for listening to us and for getting us near 1000 all-time downloads which is pretty pretty exciting given that yeah we haven't done much promoting (laughs) all right all right thank you give us shitters we will to you in season two thank you so much for listening to this episode of the tea on sustainable living podcast If you made it to the end, we can only assume that you've enjoyed this episode. Please consider sharing this with a friend or family member who could use some support on their sustainability journey. And find us on Instagram at the T on Sustainable Living and let us know what you liked about the episode. All right, give a shitters. See you later. Get it? See you later? As in, see you later? So funny. Why?